I've been helping someone this morning. Uh, they contacted me and they were having an issue uh, trying to get their laser set up. Uh, said that uh, when they run a file, it runs it upside down. And so I decided that, uh, you know, I get asked this probably every few weeks or something like that. So I thought I would get out here and do a little test program and that way I can post a picture of this on the website and, and show the explanations and maybe it'll help some folks out, especially some new people that are getting their machine set up. This individual had been running a CNC router and it was running just fine, not having any issues. Uh, and then they bought a laser and, you know, made a, uh, created a machine profile clone from the CNC profile that they had, which is really the best way to do it. But somehow some settings got changed and I wanted to point, uh, point them out with this little example here where all my settings are correct. So I moved it to this position right here in the upper left and just ran a little laser test. Now I'm just using the laser just because I happen to be out here in my shop and that's what I've got out here. Uh, the same thing would apply if you have a CNC router or whatever. Um, so I ran the program, all my settings are correct and it ran just fine. Then I moved it over to the upper right side over here, ran the exact same program, and uh, but before I ran it, I went to my config homing slash limits and changed the X from whatever it was. I don't know, remember if I had it reversed or not. I think I did. So anyway, I just changed it so that it was the opposite of, of what I had it. And ran the exact same program and you can see what happens is if your x-axis setting is backwards uh, when you run a program it will run a mirrored version it's just flipped over um, so then i moved it down to here and i set my x back correctly and changed the setting for the y and the a-axis which on this machine are slaves so basically i'm changing the y-axis and you can see what happens when I run it is I get a upside down. So it's, it's just flipped. Then I moved it over to the lower right here and I left the A and the Y axis incorrect. And I also went back and set the X axis incorrect. And you can see what happens. It not only flips it upside down, but it also mirrors it. So you get kind of a double whammy effect when you have both of those wrong. So I just wanted to show people, like I said, I'm going to take a picture of this and put it on the website and I'll have an explanation where, you know, if you're trying to run this and it looks like this, here's what's wrong, yada, yada. Uh, but the main reason I wanted to point this out is when you have those settings wrong, when you're running this, you know, when you run in a simulation in either VCar Pro or Aspire or whatever it might be, it's going to look like it's correct. It's going to look like this. When you bring the program into your Mach 3 or UC100, or excuse me, UCC and C software, it's going to look like this. It's going to look like it's correct. You won't know it's wrong until you run it, and then you're going to get one of these three, uh, you know, one of these three uh, results, depending on which one you have wrong. So again, this is correct. This is with the x-axis um, set the wrong way. This is with the Y axis set the wrong way. And then this is with both axes set the wrong way. So just wanted to point that out. Hopefully this will help some new folks. So um, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video and got something out of it, please uh, hit the thumbs up and, and uh, like button, whatever it is, and be sure and subscribe. Uh, and as always, thank you very much for watching.